Hi guys, this is Hansa Nim, and today I'm going to introduce about this wonderful palace in Korea, Gyeongbokgung. This is called the Gwanghwamun area, and if it is like the entrance of this palace. Yeah, let's go and see what is over here. And now we're going toward the Hungnemun. Yes, yeah, this is the Hungnemun, and this is the main entrance of this Gyeongbok palace. Numerous doors over here. Okay, we're going closer to this area, and yeah, we're over here. This is the, called the Yongjegu Bridge, and this is obviously a bridge, right? So you can see the upper side, and this side, there is like a pond over there, right? Um, since it was winter, we couldn't see any of the water, but there's actually a water called Kumsu at that time, and when it is spring, summer, or fall. Yeah, also over here too. Okay, let's go now inside to this palace. Let's go to Gunjongdeon, which is the main court of this Gyeongbok palace. This is called the Gunjongmun, and this is the last entrance to go into the building to the king's area. Um, today there's something, a ceremony over here. Uh, let's take a look over here. Now the music starts. And the ceremony is going to held. Yep. Okay, yeah, this is called the Gyeongjeon in this Gyeongbok Palace, and this is actually the main court of this Gyeongbok Palace. This Gyeongjeon Hall is simply an audience hall. This is where official and national level events were held. Let's take a look uh, inside this hall. You can see the special chair and colorful drawings decorating the background and this dragon painting, right? Yeah, this is the Iron Obongdo. Yeah, the red sun represents the king, and the white moon represents the queen. And this one is called the Chiljoryong. Yes. Yeah, let's go to another corner now, and we are heading to the Gyeongheru area. Yeah, this is all about Gyeongjeon Hall, and I wish you understand the special features of this Gyeongjeon Hall in Gyeongbok Palace easy.